In this video, we are going to talk about components best practice in single page applications like Blazor in terms of breaking down a page into different components. Well, let's go back to the diagram here, right? So for a traditional web application, we know that a browser will always send an HTTP request to the server and come back with a HTTP response. Well, mostly, right? Unless we use JavaScript. But mostly we go back to the server. So it's a stateless programming model. Whereas in Blazor or any other single page applications, because we have everything loaded to the browser or going through the SignalR channel, the browser actually maintains the states of the components. So here in single page applications, everything is stateful. So because everything is stateful, when a page contains a lot of functionalities, right? like uh, this page where well, it doesn't contain a lot of functionalities but i guarantee you if you put everything together in one single page component it will look so messy and the maintainability is going to go very low so that's why i need to have a video to talk about this what is the best practice in terms of breaking down a page into smaller components so i want to use this first inventory list page as example right we see that we have the search box here right this search box here it helps us to find the inventories that we want to see right helps us to filter the inventory list this is a perfect example for a reusable component so basically we need to create a reusable component and maybe call it search inventory right and then we have this part of the screen this represents a list of inventories right so again this is another component but even within this component which we can call it the inventory list component each inventory list item can again be another component because of that we can have this added functionality created within the inventory list item component as you can see that all of these functionalities are embedded in each individual subcomponents and that way we can separate all of the states handlings the events handlings inside each subcomponents individual subcomponents so that when we look at each component each one is self-contained and much cleaner comparing with putting all of the functionalities into one page component right so in this course we are going to break down things as much as possible because of that we are also going to talk about how to communicate between the components because the fact that when we break down a page into multiple components we will need to have the ability to communicate between the components like passing parameters or providing a callback, which I'm gonna cover in later videos.